gosh, for watching my videos. Now, I had posted on my Instagram if you guys wanted to see an updated stockpile tour because I did purchase some new shelving. And I definitely wanted to share with you guys like all the items I have. It's quite a bit. This is going to be a very long video. <laughs> so feel free to fast forward if you want to. But I wanted to go over everything. One of my subscribers wanted to see my stationery. One of them wanted to see like all the stuff I'm going to donate. So um, I'm definitely going to go over everything because I don't keep a lot of this stuff, guys. In all my videos, I always tell you guys I run a nonprofit out of my home. So this area is my patio. It's an enclosed patio. And in here, I stock all of my coupon items all of my clearance finds stuff i'm going to use for donate and we'll go over that i'll definitely let you guys know what i keep in personally and what i give away i have a lot of stuff for you guys i have a lot of stuff for charity and we'll definitely meet miss daisy once again my blue and gold mccall or my husband's blue and gold mccall and we're going to get started on this side because this is the monstrous side and i want to show you guys what's in those containers i usually just tell you guys but i'm actually going to show you guys so let's go ahead and get started These little containers are my stamps i did order some carnival stamps um ink so this ink is waterproof and um it won't rinse off so what we do for our events is we stamp each child's kids so we kind of know who's getting gifts and who's not um so if they come back in line and they're like i didn't get a gift and we didn't have their hand stamped then we know they didn't get a gift and we got to give them a gift and stamp their hands so that's what that is in these small containers right so let's here. go ahead and see what are in these containers some of them are pretty self-explanatory so um i probably won't open this one because that is all like decor and bags for the toy drive i do every year um and yeah same with this one this is all decor ribbons stuff like that but these other ones that one has a bunch of Hot Wheels in it that somebody donated. I'll definitely use them this year for my toy drive. And then um, let's go over the other. In that bins. gray bin was nothing but bows. Now we put bows on every bicycle we raffle off. We usually raffle off about 60 to 70 bicycles at the end of the year for our toy drive. So every bike, I think it looks really cute when it has like a bow on it, kind of like a brand new car type thing. I don't know, I'm weird. But I get these bows after Christmas when they hit 50 to 90 percent off and I get them super cheap so not a bad investment and I think it looks really cute in pictures so that's what that uh, bin and is this bin is all of my craft bag stuff so what I like to do since the event for my toy drive is really long um, I don't want the kids going outside and playing so what I do is I make like little activity bags for them so they'll have like some bubbles they'll have like some flings and they'll I get all this stuff at 90 percent when Target does their 90% clearance haul, 90% off all their Christmas stuff, or when Michael's hits 90%. So a lot of this stuff came from Michael's and Target. So yeah, it's a lot of like little crafty stuff and we make grab bags out this of those. This is another container full of grab bags. One of my subscribers sent me these adorable little um, Christmas stockings that I'm going to be using when I go to um, some of these um, uh, parks and I'm gonna fill it with like goodies and stuff for them and she sent me a bunch of stickers which they didn't have at Michael's and when she bought her four dollar grab bag she had a bunch and then I have like coloring books and activity books and all kinds of stuff from Target at the bottom so it is completely full a lot of great items in there for my craft bags. Penny and there's Penny she's my you see her in a lot of my videos um she, i have two dogs maddie's outside in the backyard but penny is right there waiting to go inside the house but she is my chorky she's half chihuahua half yorkie and maddie is a maltese and she's outside so yeah she's just looking at me like okay mom i'm ready to go inside the house because she just ate dinner anyways let's Here continue clearance finds these are all the lunch pails that i managed to find at target at 90 percent off for my back to school drive this year so what i do is i hold on to them i put them in containers so they don't get messed up and then i use them this year for my back to school drive so um it doesn't go too deep because i didn't get a lot of uh lunch pails but I did get quite a bit of backpacks. So these are all backpacks. Somebody, um, uh, the chaplain and one of my Win Sisters Women in Networking um, members donated uh, 88 back, brand new backpacks for my um, back to school drive. And then at the bottom of this are even more backpacks that I was collecting when I went to Target. So I have a ton of backpacks um, 
for my events. I have 146. I need to get 100 more. I want to have at least 100, 250 backpacks. So let me put this aside and we'll look at my final hey guys, container. I tried to move this, but it's extremely heavy <laughs> and I'm not that strong. So I just wanted to show you guys because it is clear at the bottom. These are all backpacks that will be going to my back to school drive I'm doing this year on July 27th. I'm super excited because it's my nonprofit's first like by themselves back to school drive. So I'm super excited to do this uh, event. I'm super excited to like have something that is, you know, close to my heart. My husband loves children. I love children and um, his father loved children. So children close to our heart. Super excited to do this event. Now let's go at, no, don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I do giveaways on there too. So you definitely want to follow me on Instagram. I like to do polls and get your guys' opinion on things as well. So it's she coupons for charity and that'll be in the description box. So let's go ahead and take a look at everything else that is in my stockpile. I hope you guys enjoy this okay, video. Guys, so I put everything back. You saw what's in all of these containers. Now on this side, at the very bottom, I have a ton of toys. Now, if you're new to my channel or you've been subscribed a while, then you know every year I do a toy drive for children in need. I do my own toy drive and then I donate quite a bit of toy toys to different types of charity events that are going on in the month of December. So I like to be stocked up. So if you saw my um, clearance hauls from Rite Aid and Walgreens and CVS, this is where all those toys go. And then at the end of the year, I don't have to buy them because I bought them all at 90% off, 75 to 90% off. They go to a good cause, so I hold on to them. I have quite a bit right here. And then right here is cr more crafting stuff because if you saw a lot of my hauls, like I said, from Target, um, this I think a lot of these came from Five Below. Target, there is a ton, let's see if I can open this, a ton of sticker books comic comic books coloring books stickers some of it's from cbs some of it's from um, michael some of it's from target just a lot of little activities because like i said guys a lot um i really like to have the kids something to do while the event is going on and anything extra i will donate to um totally kids which is a um, nonprofit out here that helps disabled children, um, children with very special needs, special requirements. I love giving them craft activities too, so they will use it too. So whatever I don't use at my toy drive goes to them. Okay, so then I have some miscellaneous, more crafting stuff, uh, basketball that no room for, and then in here is all of my back to school crayons, coloring pencils, and glue sticks that I got at Walmart, Target, and yeah, Walmart and Target were the two places that I found the cheapest um, back to school supply deals for. So a lot of the coloring pencils are from Target. A lot of the crayons are from Walmart. In here is just all those extra lunch pails that I had. So they go in there. Up here is all of like my miscellaneous jars for um, graduation presents I'm going to be working on, some gifting stuff, um, just a lot of miscellaneous stuff, miscellaneous gift stuff, stuff like that. Sorry about the bird, guys. She is on one. And then up here is all the way to the back, and these are more toys for donate. Okay, let's move on to the so other this side. This side really hasn't changed too much. That's where we keep the birds' food. And then more toys all the way through the back. More toys all the way through the back there. Toys, toys, toys. I got these. Dollar Tree lets me take these. So these are like my little, just miscellaneous, like give um, stuff for the grand girls, stuff for you guys, whatever I want to pull for a giveaway. So that is all over here some Christmas socks. I used quite a bit of them last year. Just a lot of miscellaneous stuff. A lot of those pe poopy guns for the RV. Um, and then smaller toys. So the smaller toys I usually use for your guys' giveaways for like, um, I like to do an Easter basket. I'll do like a Christmas stocking giveaway. I did one last year. I really like doing that. So these are smaller toys. If I decide to do something like that, I'm going to do an Easter giveaway. So um, a lot of the stuff I will use for that. And yeah, so a lot of it will go to donate. Just a lot of miscellaneous, like little small gifts in the back is completely full. There are some stuffed animals, which I still need to bag. Haven't done that yet. Um, like Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, sorry, Eeyore and some uh, Minnie Mouse. And then a ton of these bath bombs, which I'll definitely be utilizing. And then 
it goes all the way to the back it's just full of like smaller toys and miscellaneous toys and then up here it's all the way full to the back of barbies and toys and coloring books and just all kinds of different stuff for my toy drive slash donating um during christmas time okay guys so that is everything from here to here now <laughs> let's move over here i know i have quite a bit of stuff but you guys have to realize um, I run my nonprofit out of my home, so a lot of this stuff, if I had my own office or my own building, would be going in there. So, down here is like ketchups and what is in here? Oh, these are mustard and ketchup when we did hot dogs and um, for the homeless, hot dogs and so we had condiments in here. Um, we weren't able to go to Skid Row this year, last year, but we'll hopefully we'll be able to go to this year. It was an outbreak of typhus. So in here is all of the Halloween stuff that I hauled last year for Halloween. I put it in this container. I donated quite a bit to a church last year that had a church social, like for the kids, instead of them trick-or-treating in an area that was not safe. And then some of it I will be using for my Halloween giveaway. So that's where that goes. I like to keep everything in t um, tubs so it doesn't get messed up, dusty, dirty. Over here are my cups um, that I use for gifting and miscellaneous stuff that I use for gifting or stuff I'll pull for your guys' giveaways. Now up here are piggy banks and stuff I'll pull for your guys' giveaways, miscellaneous gifts. All of this right here is where I pull for your guys' um, giveaways. So Victoria's Secret stuff, Bath and Body Works, things I've gotten super duper cheap. I save and I'll put in charity gift baskets I'll use for my friends. Things like that for your guys' giveaway. Mostly for your guys' giveaway. My friends' birthdays are all, it's so weird. They're all start in like June. And then it goes June and then July is out. And then it goes October, November, December. So I'm like swamped with birthdays those few months of the year of course my busiest time so most of my friends are either Gemini's Sagittarius Scorpio's or Libra's so very strange anywho so these are all the candles that I pull for either giveaways or charity gift baskets I know I have quite a bit I actually gave away a ton of them as I've been doing my events so this is a smaller supply than what I actually had and then back there I have one signed Hank Aaron baseball that I will be raffling off um, at my back to school drive for the bikers and then I have two signed baseballs right here that I'll be raffling off up here I need to go through it is miscellaneous stuff that I bought for Christmas decor for the RV I think I have yeah I have a lot of stuff I got to go through back there and yeah I'll probably use this for Naya's Easter basket I got that at Target and then a bunch of slippers and then a steamer so yeah okay now one of my subscribers asked to see my stationery um, I'm a little embarrassed to do this part, but that's okay. So up here are all the folders for my back to school drive. And then I have all my pencil pouches and it goes all the way back guys. And it's just completely full of like little pencil pouches I bought either at Dollar Tree. I got super, super cheap. I kept the boxes from um, Walmart when they went 90% off. So these were like, I don't know, I think they're like four or five cents a piece. So I picked up as many as I could and it does go all the way back. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, it goes all the way back. Okay, so I was doing a count of how many backpacks I have. I have 146 backpacks. I gotta get another 100 of those in for my back to school drive. This is my wine glass that I need to clean. I don't drink a lot of wine, but I got that for my birthday. Okay, this is all stuff I gotta put away. I think Penny will be scared of that, but we will see, because I'm going to try it out on her. I doubt she likes it. So this is where I pull for your guys' giveaways, for coupon kits, things like that. Now, um, all of these are notebooks. Yes, I know. I'm a notebook junkie. I've said it many, many of times. Um, I use a lot of them for charity gift baskets and for your guys' giveaway. So yeah, this is where all my notebooks go. And then these are all of my adult coloring books. I donated quite a bit last year to hospitals. So um, yeah, that is like the first row. And then right here are paper clips. And then I have sharpeners. And these are socks that will be go to socking up the homeless. So I got these for like 10 cents at Target. This clip will clip has um, stuff for your guys' giveaway, like little hand sanitizers that I always forget to put in there. And then like socks and stuff for future giveaways and things like that. And then we have more Christmas socks, men's socks, 
and then I have a lot more socks here that I like to put in either charity gift baskets or your guys' giveaway. Okay, so let's start on this side. On this side, I have a ton of binders that I actually got at Staples at 90% off, so I think they were like, I wanna say they were 50 cents a piece, and these are nice hard stock um, folders. So they go all the way back, and these will be for my back to school drive, so I've been holding on to these. Now in here, I really wanna open it, but it's so heavy. This was from a subscriber, so I'll pull that down. It was a nice letter that one subscriber wrote me, and I haven't put it in my memory box yet. Ah! Okay, so these are all composition books. It is a container full of compositions books. So this is for my back to school so in here, guys, I hate opening these because they're so hard for me to open. But in here, let's see if I can open this, are those three prong folders that majority of the classes require. So there are a ton of these because there are a penny a piece when I got them at 90%. So really great deal. I got a ton of them back here in different colors for my back to school drive. So each kid will get that, a composition book. I also have a ton more spiral notebooks and composition books in there. Each kid will get a spiral notebook, a composition book, a three prong notebook, a backpack, a folder, pen, pens, pencils, um, pens, pencils, a pencil pouch, and they'll get something fun. And I'm going to show you guys that Inside right This now. container is full of, I believe it's just, it's so heavy I can't even get it out. Um, it's just composition books. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is all composition books because I want to make sure I have enough. That was one of the most expensive things. Um, back to schooling I think composition books because they're like a dollar a piece but if you wait till after school starts and they have the after school sales I think I was paying like 10 cents a piece for them or 20 cents something ridiculously cheap so I have two containers full of composition books I want to make sure they have them because that's something they definitely use a lot of so each kid gets a spiral notebook composition book pens pencils crayons coloring pencils a uh, what are these? A binder, a backpack, and then I'm gonna put something fun in here. Pencil pouch, and then I have all these little like. Never usually pull stuff for my coupon kits from here because I want to put these in the kids' stuff. Just like maybe have a binder. This is so cute though. My secret notebook. I have all kinds of notebooks and stuff. I got all of these items, 90%. There's like locker mirrors. There's pencil pouches, there's like little, there's all kinds of fun stuff in here. Notebooks, meow or never, really cute items in here. And actually, and I have a bunch of rulers in here. I gotta, I gotta go through this, but I have pencils mixed in here. I have all kinds of stuff mixed in here, a lot of pencils. When um, Target hit 90%, I went crazy. I bought a whole container of it um, to have for my back to school event. So that's what's in here. I'm going to eventually start organizing it and go through it. I might have my assistant do that since uh, she'll be off from school soon. So that may be a project for her, have her come over and just organize this for me because it's a disaster. And I know I have some stuff for your guys' coupon kits in here, but I try not to pull from it because I don't know what, what is what yet. Okay, let's move on to my new okay, shelves. So this section is the coupon kit section, as I like to call it. All of these coupon books or binders are for coupon kit giveaways. So I have a green one that I'm planning on using next month. And they're all coupon books that I really enjoy using. So they either have the Velcro. Um, ah, the Velcro. And as you can see, I've gotten these on clearance at Target. So a lot of them I found at clearance at Target and Walmart. So they're all a little bit different, but they're all for coupon kits. I have this one decor piece that I got at Dollar Tree and then my Swifter um, cleaning for the um, kitchen floor, just when I wanna do a quick clean. Now over here is coupon kit and these are Bible journals for um, my speaking engagements. I like to put a Bible journal. If you saw um, my, what I'm giving away, um, at my monthly charity things and you saw that I made these last month so I have extra for the rest the remainder of the events I'm doing I hope I have enough I did pick up some more I'll show you guys in my next haul um, I have more adult coloring books so these are for giveaways mostly this section is for you guys this is the pens and pencils that I pull and scissors I have a pair of green ones because I was thinking about doing a cacti cacti themed 
um, coupon kit. So actually that should go in there. And then over here are like planner stickers and, you know, folders and stuff like that. And then more like little notebooks, things like that, that I've picked up. Here, Miss Daisy in their background. Over here is, um, you know, like the little keychain holders and things like that, that I like to add inside the planners. It's just something cute to add. So I have a ton of them from different places like um, 99 Cent Only Store, Dollar Tree, CVS, things like that. A lot of squishies because I love squishies. So that's in there. And this one is raffle tickets for a charity event if I do one um, to raffle off stuff and then a ton of notebooks for you guys so just a ton of notebooks I go through and I either put them in giveaways or I use them in charity gift baskets or in your coupon kits in here is <laughs> whew, more notebooks guys so a lot of these are the ones I got at CVS and Target um, there are some because it's matching so I kind of put them together so it matches but a lot of them are from CVS. So I got these all at CVS at 90% off. And I like to put them, this doesn't go, oh, I forgot I had that. That is so pretty. That goes in here. Yeah, goes in there. And then I have um, notebooks, matching pencil pouches, and just like clips and stuff for your guys' coupon kits. So that's where I pull from depending on what mood I'm in or how I want to make your coupon kits. So a ton of different, I haven't added these yet. I really like this. This is notes and thoughts. And these are from CBS that I got 90% last year. So that's what all of that is. And then down here is more coupon kit stuff. So I have like, you know, the stuff for your guys' planner. So this is mostly planner stuff. These are those Avery um, that I put in your guys' coupon kits. And then a lot, a lot more coupon kit planning stuff, and um, what are those things called? Pocket. Um, oh, what are those things called? Pencil pouches. So there's pencil pouches, and these things you guys seem to like. And then right here, are all of my um, planners that I like to use that I've gotten on clearance. So I picked those up. Daisy, stop. And then, sorry about the bird, guys. I got to feed her. She's hungry. And then over here are your guys' like little um, tab dividers that I add. And then down here is a printer, an extra one for a future giveaway. I usually give a printer away every year, every at the end of the every year. So this is my spare printer. And then usually Black Friday, I go out and buy another one. If I can't find one, then I have a spare for you guys for that giveaway. So let's move on to the other so side. So this is the other side, guys. These are new shelves I got. I got three of them. I got this one, I got this one, and I got this one. So on this side is all of, well, on the top is all of my bath sets that I bought at CVS at 90% off. So these were 99 cents and these were $1.69. So I picked those up there. And then all of these are the makeup brushes that I use, use in your guys' giveaways. I use in charity gift baskets. So I have a ton of the Tartan and Twine. I have a ton of the, Kest well, not a ton, but I have Kestrel brushes. So these are all the ones I buy at the 99 cent only. I have this Marilyn Monroe. I have this Soho um, like little makeup container that I have not used. And then these really cute, what is this? The, these are the Kestrel eyeshadow brushes with the makeup bag that I have not used in one of your giveaways yet. In here are just more makeup brushes. So I have a ton of the, um, what are these? These are the eco-friendly, the Boulevard brushes. I have a ton of these sponges that I picked up after Christmas at 90%. And then I have um, the mermaid. More of the mermaid brushes. I have a ton of brushes because I give them away to you guys. So, And I, go, I know you guys really enjoy them. So I just pull from here for giveaways for you guys. It's that one. Oh, that's a pretty one too. I have not used that one yet. So, you know, whenever I do a giveaway, I like to add brushes to your guys' giveaway. So you guys have some brushes to use because I usually add makeup. Down here are all of my clearance fine gifting sections. So I'll pull stuff for you guys. I have Victoria's Secret. I have stuff from, Bath, not Bath and Body Works, but stuff from Victoria's Secret. Um, stuff from CVS, stuff from Walgreens. Um, so from Target. So just a bunch of different stuff that I pull for your guys' giveaway. Um, I just got to make sure it fits in the box and I have enough room down here are like perfumes and bath bombs for your guys's giveaways and for charity gift baskets and down here is when I first started couponing if you saw my how to coupon series 
I told you guys do not buy these things because they literally sit down here. No room for them anywhere else. I never use them. <laughs> it was a big waste of an investment. So I got a paper cutter that I ruined a bunch of coupons on. So I decided to get a smaller paper cutter. Didn't really work out for me. Three hole punch. I do use that occasionally. And then this goes to my pegboard, which we're going to look at next. Now over here is just some empty space. And then over here are just um, bath bombs for you guys that I pull. So just different types. What are these? Grab and go wipes. I have not put that in a giveaway. So it's kind of good that I'm looking at this stuff. Um, different kinds of sponges and a ton of bath bombs from different places. I'll be adding in future giveaways to you guys. Um, yeah, so that's what that all is. And then more bath bombs. As you can see, I'm addicted to bath bombs. I cannot use them. I absolutely love them. That is so cute. But I can't use them, so I just add them. Here are the pink ones from Victoria's Secret. Just different types of bath bombs I add in your guys' giveaway. These are all makeup brushes that I've purchased at clearance. 90% um, off. Beauty 360 from CVS, Tartan and Twine. Just a bunch of different, some Target ones that I got on clearance. So that is what that is in here. And then we have more um, makeup bags. I'm addicted to makeup bags. And I realized that when I was organizing this. So a ton of makeup bags from either CVS, Target, 99 cent only store, um, all over. It's, yeah, just all over the place. I'll eventually be adding these. I add them in charity gift baskets. I add them in your guys' giveaways, things like that. So ton more makeup bags, just a ton of makeup bags. Up there is my raffle drum for when I do charity events. This I picked up at the 99 cent only store and have not used it or put it in the RV yet. It was on clearance. And then in here is kind of empty. It's just more makeup bags. <laughs> so that is this section. And then to my right, well, in that Target bag is some um, Harley Davidson cups for like future raffles when we do a bike night or something. So that's what that is in there. This is where we keep our water. We have a mini fridge because my mother-in-law uses the fridge in the house and that thing is stuffed full of like Japanese food and it just, it's too full. <sighs> 90 years old. She's gonna be 90 um, on March 29th. So yeah, um, <laughs> so she has a lot of food in there and she's like super tiny, but I, hey, she can have that fridge as long as I have my water and my water is in here and then we fill from here to here. Um, that is, um, I gotta clean it better, but that's Dave's, um, father who passed away, um, his Vietnam veteran hat. So and he has some pins and stuff that I got from, um, the Dollar Tree. And then over here is my pegboard and there's no rhyme or reason for it. I've tried to organize it. It just doesn't really work out for me. So I have all my razors up here. A lot of them I donated. So this is kind of empty. Um, I have a ton of those physicians formula, um, toothbrushes I'm running really low on because I did so many donations and yeah so I really I really need to stock up on toothbrushes um, makeup of course a ton of mascara um, the Revlon lip balms and just like a ton of physicians formula makeup some Glade some 99 cent only store stuff and headbands these I picked up at um, Dollar Tree one of my hauls I don't open them I'm gonna save them and I have a plan for them but haven't done that plan yet and then a bunch of like Febreze and then a bunch of these Glade things some more razors and then this is just miscellaneous stuff some hairbrushes in case we need one miscellaneous stuff more makeup sponges for the house this is where I keep all of my cough drops that I pick up on clearance this is all of the face masks that I picked up. I have a, a bunch more. These are Christmas ones. And then some that I put in your guys' giveaways. Those tissues I just hauled. Miscellaneous paper for my husband. This is for the bird for her fresh fruit and stuff. I just haven't been to the swap meet to pick up fresh fruit. I feel like the swap meet and farmer's markets have the best fresh fruit. So once I get that, I'm going to go on Saturday. Um, once I get that, I'll be filling this up again. And then right here is more face masks for either you guys or for um, Christmas time. And then bunch of lip gloss and more makeup. 
So that's that area. This is my keep section for my house inside the house. So we have a ton of Tide, some Persil. Um, of course, I love the Unstoppables and anything like that. And then this used to be full, but I'm running really, really low. So hopefully we'll get a good deal on that. These are all baby wipes and those Bob's butt wipes and Kleenex wipes, things like that. And then of course some fabric softener but yeah this is usually this is only my keep section and then we're gonna look at my other keep section right nothing now nothing too dramatic i've showed this uh last year nothing really has changed this is pretty much my keep section um i do go through it periodically and i donate what we don't use because like i said we are just a family of four amanda doesn't live with us anymore so she comes and takes what she needs and then some of it i give to my family but there's no way i'm going to use all this stuff by myself my mother-in-law buys her own lotion and um, the only thing she really uses is like shampoo, conditioner, and toothpaste. That's pretty much basically what she uses. And face wipes, if I can find the uh, Neutrogena ones, those are the ones she really likes. But everything else, like I can't use any of those face washes. Those will probably go to my mom in her Easter basket. But, you know, lotions and stuff I'll give to them. She doesn't really use it like that. So one lotion usually lasts her forever. These are the only body washes that really work in my skin. So you see, I see I have a lot of Nivea. I have Caress that works really well. And then up here is our Keep toothpaste, which is a lot for us. So I'll be transferring it to the other side, the donate side soon. Some mouthwash for us, deodorant that I like to use. My husband only uses bar soap, so those are all his bar soaps. And then my feminine hygiene products that Amanda comes and takes. This is all the hair stuff. I am a hair junkie. My mom uses hair dye. I donated a bunch of it last year. Like there was two rows of this last year and I donated a bunch of it last year. And then I have like all the hairspray I like to use and just try out new hair products eventually when I get to it. I did have an opportunity to try this out from the 99. I loved it, works great. And then I'm not a big fan of the l -Vive. Big fan of the Gliss and really big fan of these Dollar Tree um, deep conditioners, the olive oil. If you mix it in with some of your regular conditioner, it works fantastic. Of course, you guys know I only use a sulfate-free shampoo and conditioner, so all these shampoo and conditioners are sulfate-free, and I use those on my hair. My husband, not too picky about that. And then these are just various um, hair products that I wanna try out that I haven't had a chance to. So up here, is a little bit different. Um, I did get these from work. They weren't using them, they were gonna throw them away and I'm like, I'll take them. So in here is like face washes and stuff and things like that, um, some deep conditioners, some masks I might give you guys, just different types of things. Um, I use, I'll definitely use the hair stuff, this face stuff I cannot use and I can't use any of those wipes. <laughs> so I save them for Amanda. She takes some periodically and then what I don't use, I'll donate it or I'll, I don't put them in giveaways because I feel like a lot of you guys watch my videos to coupon. So I try my best not to add a lot of coupon items. I will periodically add a couple here and there. Um, over here is a lot of that Calendula burn cream. My husband says it works pretty good for like cuts and stuff. Some teeth whitening strips that I got for 24 cents because there's a four dollar off one pilly on here at target so um these are actually for amanda um i don't use those because they actually hurt my teeth i can't use them so they're all her that's all her in here i think is lipsticks and i'm not sure what's in here more lipsticks and lip liners and stuff from couponing um in here ooh is um just samples and a ton of nail polish let me see if I can pull this so out. So that is just like nail polish, extra makeup, and things like that that I'll pull for your guys' giveaways and for charity gift baskets. There is a bunch of like eyeshadows and blushes. I love the Wet n Wild blush. I've been using it. Um, I have not tried this highlighter yet, um, so I'll give that a try eventually. A bunch of eyeshadows that I use to put in your guys' giveaway or charity gift baskets. And then like some Kush foundation and samples are in here. Those are my husband's and I think he forgot those are there. So up here, that container is full of tissue and stuff for baskets and that is Christmas decor. These need to go in that basket. These are those really inexpensive tissues I bought on clearance at um, Walgreens. So let's take a look at my cleaning stuff, which is right here. So um, let me get my step stool and I'll show you guys how far it goes Love back. trying different cleaning supplies and different cleaning products. Um, these ones I just got at Dollar Tree for 50 cents and Dollar Tree. Some of them are from the 99, some of them are couponed for. Really depends on what the deals are this week. I have a bunch of cleaners and some Love My Carpet, stuff like that. 
Over here is all of my soft soap, um, hand soap, and then we have all my dial hand soap, a couple of soft soap, and in the back are all from um, Bath and Body Works. So they're different Bath and Body Works um, foaming hand soaps that I like to use in the house. This is my Febreze section. So there's sprays and then back um, the spray, and then those are all the mists. Back here are all my paper towels and diapers because I had no more room for the diapers. So the diapers are all in my, mixed in with my paper towels. Um, the diapers will be gone, I think like probably May or June when the baby shower hits. But I bought four packs on Sunday if you saw that CVS haul. So yeah, so let me get off this stool and we'll right continue. Here. A two right here is keep. So um, these are my Kleenex and then I have some of those Glade like warmers and sprays that we got last year, super cheap. A bunch of Dawn, Palmolive, and back in the way back are some of those cones. And then of course I have my hefty trash bags, I have my Febreze, and then I have my um, scrubbing bubbles. So all the cleaning supplies and um, soaps and trash bags I keep but all the other stuff like all this deodorant all that um bar soap all of these mouthwash and a ton of toothpaste and it goes all the way back I don't know if you could see that um and all these mouthwash right here these can all go to donate so I'm not going to use any of those we have plenty this is my donate section so this is where I pull for for my mass donations if you guys watch my videos so I have my and it, there's no rhyme or reason for it it's just too much to keep in order maybe when um, my assistant gets on summer break she can come and organize this even better for me but I have Pantene I have Tresemme I have a mixture of um, L'Oreal herbal essence these I got at the 99 super cheap with the coupon they were free um, some Olay's a bunch of soft soap that I don't use because it irritates my skin I can use the Olay but I have a ton down there and I might switch a caress out with an Olay I don't even know now I do have some men's body wash back there and then I have some Dove that I don't use and then down here is more shampoo and conditioner that'll go to donate. Um, these I will keep because I have a baby shower coming up so that's all for the baby. And then down here is more gifting stuff for you guys and projects that I need to work on. So those are like my Easter basket projects. Um, and then various like little gifts I got for my mom that I've been holding on to and stuff like that. So some of it's giveaway, some of it's gifting, some of it's stuff I haven't had a chance to use yet. Like those rollers, I haven't used them yet. So I put them in here. Um, I have perfumes, like more sprays back there that I'll pull for your guys' giveaways. Or I'll put in charity gift baskets. I have a lunch pail that I need to move. And that is a orange spice like tea collection that I'm going to use for one of my coworkers who drinks nothing but tea for her. Um birthday I'm gonna make a like a little tea set thing I'll show you guys when I do that and then back here are all blankets for charity gift baskets like during winter time give a blanket and a gift card and call it good I have one of those um, toasters those toaster things that I'm going to donate um, do a charity gift basket with a Mickey like themed kind of thing I haven't thought about it yet but yeah those are all these are all blankets so and then up here are my uh, laundry soaps that I donate so all the laundry soaps that I don't use or I can't use like the extra irritates my skin so I can't really wear the, uh, use that I can use Arm & Hammer but I have tied so I just go ahead and put it on the donate side so these are all my donate um, laundry soaps not too many I donated quite a bit this year so I'm trying to stock up for my next donation this is my keep section my toilet paper section we have the Scott and then mixed in there is Charmin as well because my husband loves Charmin so let's go ahead and look at my desk area so this is what you guys see in a lot of my videos right here is like tape business cards and miscellaneous like bows and stuff for giveaways and for charity gift baskets and when I tape your guys's boxes these are giveaway boxes what I do is one of these giveaways I'm giving away now, but um, I start filling as I haul. So this is going to be one of my giveaways. I have a lot of, you know, I have a lot of palettes in here and different things that I want to give you guys. And if I really, really like it, I put it in right away to make sure that I don't forget about it. So I have a lot of, you know, stuff that's going to be going in this giveaway. It's not completely full, so I have room to add more stuff. That one is going is being given away right now. This is for a subscriber that I still haven't done. You know who you are. I'm going to send this and I have your brushes 
behind it, I think. And I just have not had a time to go to the post office, but you're my girl. You know who you are. Okay, so these are the cups that I've been hauling that I hauled from CVS and Walgreens and Target. So I'm saving those for Mother's Day for my biker ladies. That's a flamingo one that I eventually want to put in a giveaway, but haven't done it yet. Now, these are items that I really, really like, and eventually... I'll put them in one of your guys' giveaway and it keeps it's already full so I got to figure out what I'm gonna do but yeah this is all giveaway stuff for you guys so it has like a lot of um, Dollar Tree stuff in it 99 cent only store and just different places if I have higher end cosmetics or something they're usually already in the box now these are coupon kits that um, have either been given away because I'm not sure when this video is gonna be posted because I got to edit it and all that um, they're either begin, being given away now or they will be given away or they're already gone. So don't know guys. So when you see this, um, just keep in mind, I do a coupon kit every single month. So this month's theme I did to this month um, was a flamingo theme. And then I did like a donut theme. I like themed stuff. So, and these are what I give away every month for a coupon kit. That's just decor. Pick this up at the 99. Those are two little like um, 99 cent, I'm sorry, Dollar Tree. These are so cute and that's why they're here because so I can remember to put them in one of your guys's giveaway so one of my subscribers sent me this um, C-3PO and R2-D2 picture love it it's one of my favorites so that's why it's in a lot of my videos because I'm a huge Star Wars fan if you d haven't figured that out already I know these one of these love signs from Dollar Tree and then these are from Target back here is where I film so um, I have my like subscribe and then my you know my Star Wars stuff my girl boss this is my desk where I film at I have my ibuprofen in case I get a headache um, and then that's where I usually film that's my lighting if I'm filming in the dark and then over here is my file cabinet for my nonprofit and just miscellaneous stuff ears for Disneyland whenever I get a chance to go I still haven't been yet but I'm waiting for Star Wars to open before I do that um, my lamp and my trash can so this is pretty much my stockpile room guys um, I think I did a pretty decent job organizing it now let's go ahead and meet Miss Daisy well if you haven't met her I posted a, I always usually show her in every one of my um, stockpile because she stays in here her cage is huge so and she's always semi covered um because she's used to tropical weather so she's used to it being a little bit warm it's actually warm in here right now so um yeah that is little miss daisy we're gonna go a little bit closer to her so you guys can actually see her but yeah she's in all of my videos or at least you hear her in all my videos she used to when i first started filming she would come out but now she's so anti-social but she loves to talk so let's go ahead and meet a little miss daisy well she's not little she's bigger than my dogs so <laughs> let's go ahead and meet her daisy say hi hi see when I talk to her she won't talk but then if I turn my back she won't shut up and she'll mimic me and she's just a little she's just she has a very strange personality to me I mean this is my husband's bird so she loves him to death and me not so much I think she knows I'm a little scared of her because look at that beak that beak so we need to get take her in and get her beak shaved once again uh, I don't know what this bird be doing sometimes, but Jesus. So yeah, and that's like her monstrous toy that she destroyed. The chain she's holding on to was, had a huge toy on it. She's already destroyed it. So yeah, and she loves the swing. So she swings in this all day. And then, you know, she'll go down and get her food. Her cage is a mess. Please ignore that. I got to clean it. But you know, when you have a tropical bird, um, we don't keep this cage locked, guys. It is open. She can come and go as she pleases. Um, cause I've had people ask me like, why do you keep your bird locked up? Like that's mean. It's, it's not locked. There's no lock on here. She can, I even leave it open. She can come out. She can do whatever she wants in this room, but she chooses to stay in the cage. I don't know why I think maybe because the previous owners of this bird always had her in the cage. She doesn't really like to come out. She will occasionally, but it's not on a regular basis. So, um, yeah, yeah, you don't like to come out. So when she does she does great when she doesn't and like i said her wings are not clipped as you can see her wings are not clipped she um 
just does what she wants and she swings and she plays with her toys and we talk to her we play the radio so she can listen to music she likes to mimic things so her cage is never locked guys in case you guys are ever wondering yeah we keep it completely open she's welcome to roam around as she pleases so yeah so guys i hope you guys are having a fabulous blessed day thank you so much for watching my stockpile tour i know it was a long video but i have so much stuff to go over um, I definitely wanted to mention what's going to be donated. I don't want you guys to think I'm like a crazy hoarder person or just some crazy person that buys a bunch of stuff that she's never going to give away or use. Um, everything I purchase pretty much has a purpose. So you guys have a fabulous blessed day. Thank you for watching. And remember, if you like these videos, please remember to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. And I will be talking to you guys real soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.